Advocate Gursevak Singh Sehal welcomes you. What can you do if a police officer refuses to lodge first information report? There are various instances when an aggrieved person approaches the police for lodging of first information report with respect to a crime committee against him or her or any other person or property. But it is equally true that it is not easy to get an first information report lodged. In this video Sevak SIHAL YouTube channel will tell you how to deal with this situation. The information produced by the information produced by either the aggrieved person himself or any other person concerned may be recorded in writing by the officer in charge duty officer, which the police is empowered to investigate under the code is called first information and the same shall be read over to the informant, who is to then fix his or her signature, which is to be then entered into a book or diary to be kept and maintained by him every day by such officer in such format as the state government may prescribe therein this behalf. This written information is called the first information report, and that after the police officer is allowed to investigate the matter. Honorable Supreme Court in case titled is Lal and Chaudhary v. State of Bihar held that the mandate of Section 154 is manifestly clear that if any information disclosing a cognizable offence laid before an officer has no other option but to register the case on the basis of such information. Remedies if police refuse to register for 1. If officer in charge SHO police officer declines to file an first information report then the complainant or aggrieved person can report it to the concerned higher authority superintendent by submitting a complaint in writing and by post. If further the superintendent declines to take note of the complaint the next option available before the aggrieved is to file a criminal complaint before the judicial magistrate or the metropolitan magistrate under section 156.3 read with section 190 of CRPC. Two can approach to high court by way of writ petition and ask for appropriate compensation. 3. Can lodge a formal complaint in the State Human Rights Commission or the National Human Rights Commission. 4. File a complaint under Section 166A wherein if the public servant concerned failed to record any information given to him under subsection 1 of Section 154 of the CRPC. 1973, in relation to cognizable offences punishable under Section 326A, Section 326 BB, Section 354, Section 354 B, Section 370, Section 370 A, Section 376, Section 376 A. Section 376B, Section 376C, Section 376D, Section 376E, or Section 509 of the Indian Penal Code, the maximum punishment ranges from rigorous imprisonment for a period of 6 to 24 months in addition to cash penalty. Thanks for watching YouTube channel Sevak Sehal.